This is how you actually make progress on your ways every single day. You see, if you just do a morning routine every single day, you're not really going to make progress on your ways if all you're doing is a morning routine. What you want to be doing is having that main session throughout the day. Because if you don't have this main session, your waves just, you never get the time to actually develop your waves. Doing a morning routine and a night routine is nice and all. But if you really want to make that progress, you need to dedicate some time after school, after work or whatever, to get that main session in. Because the main session is what really gets your waves up. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, so I haven't gotten the chance to brush my hair all day. I've been in the airport all day. My hair is kind of dry. I haven't moisturized it in a while. So this is the perfect opportunity to get that main session in. Because I'm not really wolfing, I just cut my hair down to 1.5 two weeks ago. I'm not going to be combing and I don't want to mess up my lineup. So I'm, I won't be combing and I won't be using any hard brushes because I can't. Products you will need, a medium brush, a medium hard or medium brush. This is optional, but a medium soft brush. A soft brush, this is absolutely necessary. Along with the medium brush, this lays on your hair. I'll be using a super soft brush, completely optional. This is not optional. A plastic bag. This gets the job done. These are bad gallon bag. If you know, you know. Products I'll be using, I need to moisturize my hair. So I'll be using this 216 Kmg Butter Moisturizer. And then I'm gonna seal that in with a nice heavy oil. So this session is gonna be around 30 to 45 minutes. That sounds like a long time, but it really isn't yo. 45 minute brush session is not that much. You, you spend like a third of that using this brush, and then you're switching to this brush, and you switch to the next brush. It, it does not feel that long, bro. Well. And if you really want elite waves, bro, this is what you have to do for at least 30 to 45 minutes to get into this session. So I'll be using this medium brush for around 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not gonna apply my moisturizer yet. I'm gonna leave that for my medium soft brush because I have to go on first so for applying products more. So let's begin. You always want to start with your weak side. So my weak side is gonna change. It changes like every single wool section. I know how my entire head's looking a little bit rough because I have not been brushing, been in the airport. Can't brush in the airport. So I'm just gonna go throughout my entire head. I'm gonna say if I have a weak side. It's probably this because it's what needs to get out and it looks a bit messy right now. So yeah, start with this. And if your hair feels way too dry, you can even put a little bit of leave-in conditioner, which is what I'm gonna do because my hair feels really, really dry. So I got my leave-in conditioner because it's very, very, very much water-based. I'm only gonna put a tiny bit. Hey, yo. Uh, this thing is pretty sus. So I'm gonna put that down. I'm only gonna put a tiny bit. Just to damp my hair. Tiny, tiny bit. Then you wanna make sure you also get your crown. All right, so now you wanna go in with your medium brush. From 10 to 15 minutes, attempt, depending on if you're going for that full 45 minutes or not, I recommend you do. If you do it like one 45 minute session per day, bro, you don't gotta do a night routine and you're gonna make crazy progress, bro. One week, bro, imagine it. For one week, bro, you did like at least like a 45 minute session, bro. Your, your waves are gonna come in super, super, super duper fast. I'm gonna do 30 minutes right now because I gotta do some things. But so going, going for this for 10 to 15 minutes, medium brush. You see, when you're brushing, you want to make sure you break them forks. So I got this fork here. It's going to be out way before we cut this wolf. So I'm going on a 12 week wolf. So for this fork right here, I have, first of all, I have to analyze it. You just want to brush it out. You just want to be working on your flaws and things like that. And this fork as well. It's pretty annoying. I'm just pushing it out. How you want to brush is very important, especially when you're trying to make progress. You want to kind of brush from like the way your crown flows. If I go like this, how my weights flow around my crown, you want to like get that really good first. It does my crown is messed up right now. But you want to get that really good first, and then you just want to trickle down first your waves. That's why, like right here, the flow is off. But if I'm following from my waist flow from my crown, it's gonna get fixed. It's gonna walk. 
and keep brushing. It's simple, man. Even on the top, you wanna to make sure it's going from your crown. In order for me to reach the back and my crown, I like to position my, my mirror like this. Just a little bit easier for me. It's bad for the camera because you can't really see the back and the crown, but this is the best way that I can brush. You wanna brush the best way you can. You don't wanna be brushed like this. It's because your favorite way of YouTuber brushes like that. Because he brushes like that, so you can actually see. But if you want to make the best progress, you gotta brush the best way you can see your way. So I'm gonna brush like this. Pro tip: you wanna make sure you're brushing that ear. Cause I have a fork right here. But how I had to break it, I had to brush my ear. You know, brush your ear. Your waves will not go all the way down. Better example here too. I also had a fork behind my ear. I recently just had a fork by my ear because it was here. I pushed it down. Brush the ear, bro. One day you'll be able to brush the ear with even a hard brush. But you want to be brushing that ear. Maybe don't comb your ear because that hurts. But brush that ear. Okay. Now I'm going to find my butter moisturizer. Smell is great. It adds cold and further moisturizes my ear. It seals it in a little bit, but we're going to go in with it. I have to do the oil for the sealer. I'm gonna rub it into this oil and then it's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a medium soft brush for around five to 10 minutes. Not too long with this brush. I'm really just trying to vertical, focus on vertical brushing and just making sure the product is evenly distributed in my hair. Okay, now I've brushed the product in. I've made some progress. Vertical brush targeted those forks. Now it's time to really start laying my hair down and sealing that product. So what I'm gonna be using is a tiny bit of this, but you don't only wanna be using this once per like wash cycle. So you wash your hair, use this once after you do like a big moisturizing session, and you don't use it again. I'm gonna use it right now though. Really seals in the moisture. That's it. It's sticky, bro. It's shaky. But this is apply it. Now my hair is gonna be moisturized completely and locked in all the way until I wash my hair, obviously. So what you wanna do now, you wanna go in with your soft brush for like 10 minutes. Let's go. So with the soft brush, you just wanna yeah, it starts to lay down really nicely, you know. It's kind of like a medium brush after you got in with the hard brush when you're rolling it. See, your hair may be looking like it's over curling and frizzy, especially if it's more medium, like my right side right here. But once you start to lay that down, bro, the waves come back. Okay, so when you're finished like, with that, you want to go in with your plastic bag, bro, if you're like me. That's super softy, bro, if you know you know. For real, bro, if you know you know. after like two minutes you want to go with this plastic bag this is not optional bro especially if you're woke you need to go in with this longer i'm not really with it i'm just gonna go in with this can you even do it on my hairline my hairline will get messed up with this bro you want to go in with this for like three to five minutes mandatory bro so if you got a plastic bag on don't and please bro don't be that guy that uses a chip bag bro you do that's just mad weird just use a you know ziploc bag whatever Great value, bro. Don't matter, but it's be something like this, bro. Just make sure you're using that zip up bag. <laughs> Alright, now you want to rag up. 16, if you do rag, just rag up. But when you do it like this, you get a little bit more compression. It's my favorite way to put on a do rag. You want to go down right here and then go up. Like a little tiny bit extra compression. I just, that's just the way I like putting on my do-rag. 